How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about Lucid, which was down 3.61% on the day. The market was fairly flat. We did see a slight pullback in the stock. So I want to make sure you guys are prepared going into tomorrow. Won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know what it looks like in a bearish case scenario and as well as in a bullish case scenario. And then we're going to be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when and all of that is done. We'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for Lucid. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $17.36, being down 3.61%. On the low, it tested $17.24. And then on the high, testing $18.54. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 18.571 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 29.955 million shares. So we did have below average volume on the day and we've seen just a slight pullback in the stock. Now when we take a look at our chart, which is a daily chart, you can see from the RSI down below, it is at 43.66. And then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart, we are below the 200 day, the 100 day, the 50 day, and as well as the 21 day EMA. So it's clear to see that Lucid is in a bear market trading below all of our major moving averages but one thing that we want to take notice of in a technical sense we have been making higher lows and we've done this for the past two trading days with the most recent being today so going into tomorrow if we have some strength in these markets we can look forward to seeing lucid actually being able to have price action above the 21 day EMA and maybe get a potential move going to $20 maybe sometime this week and the reason why we want to pay attention to this as far as for resistance we had that the 21 day EMA. We saw the high of 18.54 and the 21 day EMA is actually at 18.49. So we just passed it. So getting above it, I feel more bulls would want to come in and push this price up even further. If we decide to consolidate now, I don't see anything wrong with that either. Like I said from last week, finishing above $17 is quite the accomplishment. And the fact that we were able to close again above $17 shows a lot of strength, shows there's a lot of support. But again, we have to keep an eye on the market conditions. But for the most part, let's see if we can get above that 21 day EMA sometime this week. And if we don't, we just want to continue to show some strength holding $17 or even just staying above 16. Now let's move on to the short interest information. So we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for Lucid. As we scroll down on the page, green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed position. So I want to give you guys a quick heads up here. There are a lot of filings for the 16th. So we're going to be focusing on the ones that are the most noticeable. So we have Shunfield Strategic Advisors LLC that purchased 72,862 shares. And we have Steadfast Capital Management LP that purchased 501,446 shares. We also do see some more filings here as well. So as we scroll down more, we're again, we're focusing on the ones that are the most noticeable. We have Centiva Capital LP that went in with that put value of 37,500 shares. Marathon Trading Investment Management LLC with 13,601 shares. And then we have Graham Capital Management LP with a put value and we see 551,800 shares and then we have parallax volatility advisors with 40,878 shares Barclays PLC with 793,738 shares Booth Bay Fund Management LLC with 25,903 shares Y Intercept with 50,024 shares and then we have Leonard Green and Partners LP with 1 million in regards to puts also have Ionic Capital Management LLC 
LLC with calls at 59,500. And then we have Citadel Advisors LLC, very well known hedge fund right there with calls and puts. And you can see 3.4 million on the calls and as well as 2.8 million on the puts, just over that for both of them. And we have Sandler Capital Management with puts of 150,000. We have Akima Investment Management BV with 20,831 shares. Bank of America Corp with the calls at 360,100 shares. And you know what? We got through them. Now let's take a look at the short interest. The off exchange short volume ratio is at 50.23%. And then for the off exchange short volume, it is just over 7.23 million shares. Scrolling down on the page, the short shares availability is at 50,000, updated just now. And then for the short buy fee rate, it is at 33.89%. When we take a look at the history of the short volume, you can see for the close of the 12th is at 42.78 and then for the close of the 13th being at 50.23 and then when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float being at 21.26 percent the criteria we normally look for is at 14 percent so this shows us lucid does have short squeeze potential now let's move on to the order flow distribution now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for lucid so we see on the inflow it was at 48.51 million and then on the outflow it's at 63.1 one zero million so we had an outflow day taking a look at the breakdown on the large it was zero on the medium it was 26.92 and then on the small it was 21.59 taking a look at the outflow side you can see on the large it was 5.13 on the medium it was 33.76 and then on the small it was 24.21 taking a look at the large-scale orders in the last five days you can see for today May the 16th we had that outflow of negative 5.13 million. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the large represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 1.12%. So it's back in range. If you remember in the previous video, it was in the 2% range. So this is exactly what you want to see. And what this shows us, there are still many who are continuing to hold on to their positions. But with the volatility we have inside of these markets, that's why I wasn't surprised we ended up seeing outflows. Now let's move on to the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well. So for my final thoughts for Lucid, when it comes to the price action, it was great that we ended up seeing a high at $18 and 54 cents so we were five cents above the 21 day ema and this is exactly what you want to look for we are seeing a lot of strength plus on top of that as far as for the technicals we have formed a higher low and we've been doing this for the past two trading days so this is a bullish sign but what we want to see going into tomorrow if the markets do pick up and we have some more buying pressure coming in there's a strong chance that lucid could see 20 dollars sometime this week so i want to make sure that you're being aware of that and if we can actually use that 21 day ema which is around 18 dollars and 49 cents as support it could get very interesting for this play. If it decides to pull back or we have some consolidation, I just wanna see Lucid being able to hold up $16 at least. That is not too much to ask, and if it does break through that level, you already know what it looks like on the downside. Also, when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership, we can see that institutions are continuing to load up on shares. Plus, on top of that, taking a look at the short interest information, it does continue to have short squeeze potential. So that's why you you want to make sure you have a strategy, have a game plan, trade off of the volatility. Like I was saying, the market was trading fairly flat. So that's why as far as for the price action, it wasn't what we were normally used to. But again, we are in a bear market. There are a lot of sellers out there. But the fact that we were able to make that high above the 21 day EMA is definitely a good look for this play. And all we need is a couple green days for this week to see Lucid potentially getting to $20. So that's why I say keep an eye on this play. And for my long term investors, you already know, take advantage of those dips when they do occur we are in a bear market so i do see more opportunities down the line so i hope you enjoyed this video and i can't wait to see how the stock performs going into tomorrow we'll talk soon